during adolescence, during puberty, boys and girls grow rapidly. Do they need more nutrients? Do they need supplements? So they do need more nutrients, but I think what would be quite surprising is that perhaps the amount extra they need is less than many people would think. So we may remember that when we were boys that we had a ravenous appetite during adolescence. Um, and that would certainly indicate that there is uh, a need for those extra nutrients. And if we do the calculations as to how much tissue is being built up, we can do some pretty good calculations as to what we need for that. But the surprise to most people would be that it is a smaller number than you might think. And, and the reason for this is that humans, in fact, are designed to grow very slowly. And they're designed to grow slowly in order to allow the brain plenty of time to and to be trained. We hear so much about iron deficiency anemia, especially in young women. Is iron an issue? Is it a critical uh, mineral to be supplemented? Well, of course, we would have to first of all consider which population we're talking about, and in some populations it will be more of a problem than others, particularly, for instance, vegetarian populations. So that would be one part of the answer, but in general, in low-income countries, yes, iron would be an issue. There's no doubt about that. But I do think that there has been a, a, a lot of evidence propagated around that is exaggerating the size of the problem. It's actually very difficult to measure iron deficiency and iron deficiency anemia. And when we do it really properly, we find, to our surprise, sometimes maybe even to our disappointment, that there's a bit less than, than we thought. That's good. One more question. In developing countries, uh, the adult height is not as in developed countries, but there's lower rate of obesity, so maybe it weighs often. Can uh, people from developing countries reach the same height as people from developed countries? So I think we know the answer to that quite well. And the answer is yes. Uh, I believe that pretty much every population in the world, with a few exceptions, for instance, the Pygmies, with a few exceptions, then most races have the same genetic potential. And we can see from the WHO growth curves that if, if populations are, or subgroups of populations are chosen carefully enough, optimal nutrition, optimal health, and so forth, then they grow equally. And the intergrowth study that is just coming out with fetal growth curves again tells exactly the same story, that really the growth, the fetal growth curves of all populations that they've measured really lie absolutely on top of each other, suggesting that there's no genetic difference and that there are environmental differences. But the WHO growth curves ended five years of age. Yeah. So later on, do we have this comparison between populations? We don't as yet, and I think, as you point out, that is a, 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 a gap in the literature. What we have shown is that certainly adolescence is a fascinating time where there is some natural catch-up in populations that have been um, stunted in childhood. And the nature of that catch-up tends to be a very long, slow adolescence. They continue their childhood growth, sometimes into their early 20s, and by virtue of growing longer, rather than growing faster, then they do show some very significant catch-up compared to other populations. So we can say all young men and all girls have the same chance to become as tall as the potential is, the I, genetic I, I potential? I wouldn't go quite that far because I, I, we still don't understand, for instance, what are the intergenerational effects. Okay. I'm talking genetically, I think, as races, we have the same chance, but obviously there are intergenerational effects. We Our adult height tends to correlate with our mid-parental height, so the average height of our two parents and our grandparents and so forth. So there are effects, but I think uh, by and large, um, and, uh, the, the potential for populations is similar. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you.